So the day has finally come. No Man's Sky now has a Mac release. And the Mac port of this game has been highly anticipated ever since it was first announced at last year's WWDC to be released at the end of 2022. And thankfully, our patience has finally been rewarded. Sean Murray, the founder of Hello Games and the creator of No Man's Sky, put out some pretty cryptic tweets leading all the way up to the surprise release of the game today on a platform that nobody expected. So in this video today, I'm just going to do a quick first impressions of No Man's Sky on Mac. We'll be briefly comparing the performance between the original M1 and the M1 Max. We'll be looking at some of the exciting new technical features including Metal 3 and Metal FX support. We'll be looking at some of the graphics settings and also talking about some of the more surprising and unexpected features of this port. So if you haven't subscribed already then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So I think the first thing to know is that this is probably one of the best looking games that you can play on the Apple Silicon Mac and the performance is very very good. At the moment my test Testing is limited to 1080p on ultra settings and I'm using the Metal FX temporal mode with Metal FX quality set to quality. And this is the default setting for Max and Metal FX can also be tweaked to ultra quality, performance and balance modes. Once I have more time I'll play around with these settings in a future video. But suffice it to say at 1080p at ultra settings with the Metal FX defaults my MacBook Pro with the Elmer Max chip on the right is easily hitting 100-120fps which shouldn't necessarily be that surprising but the real winner here is my MacBook Air with the original M1 and just 8GB of RAM and 8 GPU cores being able to hit that 60fps in many scenes. So from first impressions Snowman's Sky looks like it's insanely well optimized for the Mac. When you run this on Apple Silicon hardware you'll be playing a native ARM binary. And I suppose what's surprising about this is that the system requirements show that this is also compatible with Intel Macs as well. If you have an older Intel i5 Mac with a compatible graphics card then you'll also be able to play this game too. This is pretty surprising as other recent AAA Mac releases like Resident Evil Village only have Apple Silicon Mac support. So surprising that Halo Games would even bother to implement Intel support at all. But suffice it to say if you have any Apple Silicon including the base M1 then you'll be able to play this game at basically the highest settings. Now I haven't done that much testing I've only really been using the M1 Max to play the game so far and the frame rate doesn't stick to 120 FPS it often dips to 70 80 depending on what you're doing on screen but nevertheless it's extremely impressive that we can run this game at this level on ultra settings and it's very likely that this is all due to the optimizations based on Metal 3 and Metal FX. I also found other features very well implemented for example DualSense support is great just pair your DualSense to macOS and then all of the button prompts in game are going to be defaulted to the Sony prompts. So another very surprising thing is that basically No Man's Sky is a Steam game. There is no way to buy this on the Mac App Store. The only way to get this is to go through Steam. This might change in the future, who knows, but it does mean that if you own No Man's Sky already on Steam for Windows, then that means you've already got a copy of the Mac port of this game. And this is pretty surprising because this deviates substantially to what happened with Resident Evil Village. The Mac port of that game is only available on the Mac App Store. Anyway, it's pretty cool that this is an integrated Steam release. We have cross-compatible saves and cross-play as well which means that Mac and Windows users will be able to play together in multiplayer. Now, if you want to buy this on Steam, it's not on sale at the moment. You have to pay full price if you want to get the Mac port. However, if you follow the link in the description for my Games Planet affiliate link, you can buy the Steam version of this game. It currently says Windows only, but you will get the macOS port as well. So hopefully this is going to save you quite a lot of money. Now the thing is I think that No Man's Sky is actually going to come to the App Store in one form or another, especially with the rumoured release of Apple's VR headset which is supposed to be announced at the next WWDC. After all No Man's Sky is basically the poster child for VR gameplay and it would make sense for this game to eventually appear on some AR VR headsets App Store as well as on the iPads App Store when it gets released there in the future. So anyway it looks like No Man's Sky has stuck the landing on Mac. I'm going to be doing a little bit of testing on various Mac systems in the future. If you have any requests then please make sure to leave a comment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.